The final chapter of Naruto is bad. There are several reasons why, and we're gonna be exploring all of them in this video. Naruto chapter 700 finishes the story, and we see Naruto being the seventh Hokage, his children, we also see the children of every other character in the story, and the story ends with us seeing Naruto's statue in the Hokage Mount in the Leaf Village. But why do I complain so much about this last chapter? Well, that chapter is an epilogue. An epilogue is a final piece of a story that usually happens after the main plot has concluded, and it is then to close things up. Are all epilogues bad? No, of course not. There are several stories that pull off amazing epilogues. But Naruto's epilogue takes me off for a very particular reason. The focus of the epilogue is not on Naruto himself. It's on Boruto and his friends. I get that the point they're trying to make there is that the new generation is rising because the past generation was able to fight their gruesome battles and win so that the next generation could thrive. And yeah, sure, that's an interesting message that aligns with the message of the entire story, but you don't have to make the next generation the focus of your very last chapter. The focus should be on the main characters of the series and not a character that we meet for one chapter in the story. The biggest problem with this epilogue type last chapter is that we get a time skip of about 12 years from the ending of Naruto Shippuden when the war arc is resolved and everything essentially ends to we getting to know these new characters in the last chapter. Characters we have no connection with. We do not care about the new characters because we just met them and we know the story is ending, so why would I even care? I don't know if you've ever heard this in class, but I remember back in the school days when every single teacher used to say, you should not introduce new concepts in the conclusion of your essay. Because if you do that, you're not gonna have enough time to develop these new concepts and people are not going to enjoy reading your essay. They're gonna find it confusing or they're just not gonna care about your conclusion. And that's exactly what Naruto does. It introduces a thousand new characters. All the kids of the protagonists are there now and they're all doing their kind of stuff. And the focus of this chapter is Boruto. Boruto has more panels than Naruto in the final chapter of the Naruto series. And we do not care about Boruto, we want to see what Naruto's up to. I mean, Sasuke has one panel in that entire chapter. Yeah, of course, it's because of the nature of what Sasuke is doing, he's not currently in the village, but still, Sasuke is the second most important character and he is overshadowed by what Boruto's doing in the chapter. And this is not any chapter, it's the last chapter. Things should work perfectly in the last chapter because the ending of a story is arguably the most important part. This trope of seeing the kids of the protagonists in an epilogue 10 to 15 years after the main story is ended is one I really do not like. To be fair, it's just pure fan service to see, oh, who's gonna end up with who, who's gonna have a child with who, and then you see it's kind of obvious that those things would have happened anyway. You didn't have to see that they had a kid like Sarada or Boruto. Of course, Naruto and Hinata would end up together and Sasuke and Sakura would end up together. Ideally, these relationships would have been developed in the story itself and not off screen, which is mostly what they do in Naruto. All relationships, <laughs> they, they don't happen in the main story. No, you have to watch movies, you have to read stupid light novels to understand how these characters actually ended up together. I mean, honestly, Sasuke and Sakura final moment in the manga where Sasuke taps Sakura's forehead is pretty sweet. 
mimicking Itachi and all that, but there's absolutely nothing for Naruto and Hinata. You have to watch the last. And that's one of the other reasons why this last chapter doesn't work. Yeah, sure, Naruto and Hinata were kind of a, yes, they are a potential couple, but we don't see any action from them uh, whatsoever. They just got two kids in the last chapter. And we do not see them getting together, we barely even see them talking. And the same could be said for several of the other couples that get paired up. I mean, Ino and Sai, where did that come from? Choji and Karui? That really came out of nowhere. I mean, I think Kishimoto had all female characters in the entire series uh, as pictures in his wall, and then he picked a dart, Closed his eyes, tossed the dart, and the dart landed on Karu, and he said, Yeah, Karu is gonna be Choji's wife, because it could have literally been anyone. <laughs> Harry Potter did the same type of epilogue, having the kids of the protagonists 15 years later, which I also really don't like, but at least in that epilogue, we saw the characters developing their relationships before them having the kids in the epilogue. Another issue with this type of epilogue is that it leaves no room for you to wonder, oh, what's gonna happen to this character or this character? I don't know, it's interesting to just imagine characters moving forward is going to be like. But no, we see that everything is pretty much the same in the Leaf Village and now they have kids and that's it. We don't have any sense of wonder reading the last chapter. We see exactly how things are going. Now, I'm not saying to leave everything open-ended, but a couple of hanging threads here and there can actually work out really well for the ending of a story. You know what should have been the actual ending of the Naruto series? One chapter before, chapter 699, Naruto and Sasuke have that final conversation when Sasuke is about to leave the village to repent for his sins, and then Sasuke says what a ninja is supposed to be and Naruto agrees. Naruto then grabs Sasuke's headband that he kept all those years ever since their first fight in the Valley of the End and gives it back to Sasuke. And the final panel of that chapter is both of them holding the headband as a symbol of union for the entire shinobi world and especially between these two friends. That was the perfect panel to end the series with. But no, we have to do an epilogue and show Boruto because we have to sell the sequel. And of course, there is another major problem as to why Naruto couldn't have ended with the chapter 699 ending. And it's because Naruto hadn't become the Hokage yet, and that's kind of a big deal. It's Naruto's goal since the very first chapter. Yes, Naruto should have become the Hokage somewhere, and yet, in chapter 699, the second to last chapter of the series, Naruto is not the Hokage. For whatever reason, Kakashi is the Hokage. Yes, he was foreshadowed to be the Hokage before, he was supposed to be the sixth Hokage when Danzo died and all that, but still, just make Naruto the Hokage there, show the stone statue in that chapter, and then have the ending there. It would have been very easy. But now we have to see Boruto painting the Hokage faces copying his dad. Wow, that's really what I wanted to see in the final chapter of the series. That's what's gonna leave this very lasting impression that I'm going to remember forever. Not seeing Naruto becoming the Hokage on page or on screen is one of the worst things that Kishimoto has probably done in the ending of Naruto. But just having him being the Hokage in the epilogue feels very cheap. That's something everyone has been looking forward to. It could have been a very emotional scene, seeing Naruto actually becoming the leader of the village, something he's aspired his entire life. I could imagine just crying watching that scene or reading it in the manga, but no, we don't get that scene. Naruto is just the Hokage, he's carrying his hat in the final chapter, he has the cloak, 
and that's it. It feels very underwhelming. And don't even talk about the OVA where Naruto actually becomes the Hokage because that's a slap on everyone's face. They undercut the emotional core of that scene of Naruto becoming the Hokage for a joke. Himawari one-shots Naruto because she's angry at Boruto, and therefore Naruto himself cannot attend the ceremony of him becoming the Hokage, and Shikamaru has to transform into Naruto, and that's the entire- it's an entire joke scene. It's literally supposed to be funny instead of emotional. So yeah, the last Naruto chapter sucks. <laughs> Subscribe to this channel if you enjoy my content, watch this video right here for more interesting Naruto content, and like this video as well. It helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much for watching.